What's going on guys? Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with another review. Looking at more items for the AR. Today specifically we're going to be talking about my light setup. Um, so when I built my AR I obviously wanted it for range and plinking and having fun but I also wanted it to be useful. Um, home self-defense situations obviously you're going to need a light at night as well as the second property that we visit on occasion. Uh, like coyotes like to come around, we get some bear every now and then. So if we're down there late at night, take this with me. I know I have a good powerful, or a, a good rifle with a powerful light setup. Um, and on this one specifically, I have the Streamlight. There we go. So this is the Streamlight ProTac Rail Mount HLX 1000 lumen flashlight. Uh, when you purchase the light, it comes with a Picatinny mount. It's held on with a thumb, like you use a thumb screw to tighten it down on the rail. And I don't care for that, so we'll talk about the other components that I have. But the light itself, as you can see uh, here and here on the bottom, have the attachments for that rail mount. Comes with a push button. So. If you wanted to run just your standard push button, use it as a flashlight, you could. Obviously those are gonna protrude out into your hands, it's gonna be annoying, but you can use it as a regular flashlight or mount it and have the push button, or you can opt for the tail switch like I have, or the tape, tape mount, sorry. Um, so let's go over the specs of the light and then we'll get into everything else that's involved here. So the light itself with the tail cap with the push button is IPX7. In the setup that I have with the tape attached to it, it is an IPX4. Uh, life on the LED is 50,000 hours. It's a C4 LED. It runs on, they call it dual fuel. Um, so you can run CR123As or you can run a single, so those are two CR123s, or you can run a single 18650 in this. So you get two battery options. Um, output 1000 lumens, 27600 candela, 332 meter beam running for an hour and a quarter on the 123s and an hour and a half on the 6, 18650s. So that's going to be your high. Uh, your medium, let me look here, 700 lumens, uh, looking at 1200 candela. 12, or 219 meter distance and one and a quarter, yeah, one and a quarter for the runtime on that. You also get a 60 lumen low, and I think there's another one in here as well. The 60, the 60 lumen will run for 20 hours on the 123s or 22 on the 18650, and then obviously you get that strobe mode as you can see reflecting off of me there. Uh, the strobe will run for two and a half on the 123s and three and a quarter hours on the 18650. So you definitely get some good options. Um, I believe there's a 300 lumen option on there as well. Honestly, those didn't matter to me. All I cared was the max output. With, it is a 10 button programmable. So with the tail switch on it, you can program the way it works. With the tail switch, it's real simple. Thousand lumens either momentary with the bigger part of the pad or on and off with the smaller and then a double tap for the strobe. That's all I wanted. I wanted full lumens or full strobe very simply with a tape mount. Um, so there's, there's really not much more to say about the light itself. Um, good output, easy to set up. It comes with all the mounting pieces necessary. I did when I originally got it, had a small M-Lock Picatinny here and I used its mount. It sits further back on the rifle because of the M-Mount or the M-Lock and it's just not secure. I shot the rifle a couple times with it and I was always screw I was always tightening it down. So I didn't feel like it would last if I forgot to actually check it. So what I did to combat that, uh, before we move on, the light itself right now on Amazon, link in the description, 12102. Uh, so $121.02 for the 1000 lumen weapon mounted light. 
Uh, like I said, that comes with all the accessories. It does come with a tape mount. It comes with uh, some double-sided tape as well as some zip ties to tie it up if you don't purchase a tape holder and we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but as for the mount, to combat the Picatinny mount that it came with, I went through and I'm going to, I'm going to mess this up. A rat, a, yeah, I'm not even going to try to, it's like a Raska defense. It's the inline scout mount. <laughs> um, I'll put the name up on the screen here so you can see it. There will be a link in the description for this mount. Uh, so if you can see it, it's just this bar right here and it mounts up with two M locks in the rear. So you have a, a long range of adjustment. The thing I like about it with the overall length of three inches, it brings that light very close to the end of the muzzle. So yes, the side of the light with this muzzle, with this component is catching all of the blowback. However, you're not getting the shadow on this side from your, your muzzle device. So it blocks that, or it, it doesn't allow that muzzle device to block your output. Um, the weight on the inline mount is 0.6 ounces and it's made out of 6061 aluminum and then it is type three hard coat anodized. Simple as that. Comes with the M-lock screws as well as the screws you need to mount it to the ProTac. Um, I'll have an Amazon link in the description below for the one made specifically for the ProTac. You have to watch, there's a couple different ones they make. The one that I'll have linked is for the ProTac. If you don't have it, go on their website or check around Amazon. A lot of their stuff's on there. You can find the one, for, hopefully, for the light that you have. Great mount system, real sturdy, M-lock. I mean, nothing else you can really say about it. It's, it's just, it's solid. I haven't had to tighten any of this setup down at all. So moving on from there, um, obviously uh, seeing my last video, the top of my rifle is M-lock except for up here at the very end. And where I like my grip back just a little bit off of the front of the barrel. I don't want my grip the whole way out here. It just extends my arm out too far. So having it back here, there's no Picatinny to mount the tape to or to like double-sided tape that's not going to last so what i did so i went with a company called cloud defensive and i got their tape mount um, so another simple product but it works uh, real quick going back to the inline mount 37 dollars is the price on it from amazon seems to be about the standard going price uh, but going to the cloud defense, this is the cloud defense LCS. So this one here specifically fits the Streamlight ProTac switch mount or switch. Um, and even though there's no rail that on the top of my rifle, there is a slight bevel right here. This is made to mount to a Picatinny, but it does mount to that bevel real nice. Um, this thing, like I have it hand tight and it it's not moving it's not m lock it's made to mount up here but i mounted on that bevel and it it's solid um, it's three pieces they are uh 6061 t6 billet aluminum and they are cnc machined out of that block you have a side a top and a side piece there are two screws let me bring this down here a little bit so there's a screw here and here with a Torx bit. That's what holds it on. And see if I can flip this around and show you here. So if you look right here, you can see that the cable for the light actually goes down and it doesn't run underneath the mount. It actually runs inside of that mount I'll show you again on the front here. This is where it comes out. So there's a channel cut inside the one side piece and then that runs down to my light. Now this one has a, you can turn the tail cap 
so I just tightened it down so I don't need any zip ties. That's kind of the purpose for this is you can hide the wiring, you don't need zip ties, you don't need ranger bands, you don't need electrical tape. It's all self-contained right here. Um, and you're not taking up a lot of real estate. So your length on the cloud defensive mount is three and a half inches. Your height is about half an inch. So about half an inch off the top of the rifle. And width is one in 1.32 inches. So real simple. You can mount the tape either way, forward or back. So you can have your uh, on off switch up front or you can have it in the back how I like it because obviously nine times out of ten I'm going to be using the momentary and not the on and off. I'd rather be able to run that. Um, yet again, link in the description below for the uh, Cloud Defensive ProTac mount and price on that. $64.95 is your standard price right now. It literally just went on sale before I made this video. Uh, I believe it's $54.99 right now. So get it on 15% off, good deal. Uh, like I said, the link will be in the description below on the cloud defensive mount. So that is everything I got for my light setup, guys. Uh, so the Streamlight ProTac HLX weapon mounted light, the cloud defensive tape mount, and uh, we'll try to butcher this again. Where is the name of this? A-R-I-S-A-K-A. -A -A. Araska, something around there. Um, scout mount, inline scout mount. And that is made for the, uh, sh the not, sh not Streamlight, the uh, Surefire Scout. So it is designed for that, but it will fit the ProTac. So keep that in mind if you're running a ProTac. Said output wise, you get a good price. 1,000 lumens for $120, $122. You can't beat that. Um, that's all I got for my light setup though, guys. Definitely, uh, if you like the content you got here today, hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section below. Here's the question of the day. What light setup are you running? Let me know in the comments. How do you have your setup? What do you prefer? I like mine pair or straight with the barrel on the side. I know some people like to run it up a little higher or lower at an angle. Um, underneath, different options. Uh, wh what light are you running? You know, do you have another light that's good in price? I know I love my O lights. I don't, I haven't seen their weapon mounted lights perform enough yet to switch off of either a Streamlight or a Surefire. So tell me what you're running, tell me your experiences. Uh, do you run a cloud defense? How do you have your tape set up? You know, let me know. Let's have a discussion in the comments. But as always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification button so you're notified every time we drop some new content. Uh, I think I have one or two more videos coming up on AR parts and then we're gonna switch off to a different topic for a little bit. So definitely uh, check back this week. Let me know what you got going, or to see what we have going on. But let me know what you got on your setup in the comments below. That's all I got for you guys. Later.